how to make your own milk chocolate from only four simple ingredients. So the ingredients first, we're going to need some full cream milk powder there, some icing sugar, some kofa or vegetable shortening. You can use cocoa butter if you like for a better flavour. And we're going to be using some cocoa. I've got the Nestle one here. Now I love Cadbury chocolate, but I'm not a fan of their cocoa powder, so I always use the Nestle. So the first thing I've done is got in my pot here and put some water in it, and I've set that to boil. So once your water is almost boiling, I've just put a stainless steel bowl on top. Make sure it's dry, you don't want any liquid in there, as that will ruin it. So guys, just into the bowl there, I'm just going to add the entire block of kofa vegetable shortening. This is 250 grams. And you just want to let that melt. Okay, so that's melted away, so what I'm going to do now is turn the heat to low, so we don't burn that. And next thing I'm going to do is add in one cup of our cocoa powder. And get yourself a whisk, and just stir that around. Now at this point I'll also say guys, the type of cocoa powder you use is responsible for the flavour. So don't go using a cheap one, like the Home brand, or the Coles brand, or the Woolies brand. Make sure you use Nestle, or Cadbury, or even Lint. Okay, so that's looking good. So now we're going to add in one cup of icing sugar. Stir that in as well. Okay, so what we basically have now is dark chocolate. So the secret ingredient now is our milk powder. So we're going to add in three quarters of a cup. And we'll stir that in too. Now get that all nice and combined. So scrape your sides as well. Hey guys, there we have it. So we go ahead and turn the heat off now. We'll just let that sit there for a few more minutes. I continue to stir that. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have any of my chocolate molds with me right now. So I've just lined a little tray I have here with some baking paper. And we'll go ahead and pour in our chocolate into there. Get that all in there. Okay, so what we'll do now guys is go ahead and put this in the fridge. Now you're best leaving this overnight so it goes perfect, but even about three hours should do it. Then we'll come back and check on it. Okay, it's been three hours now, so I've gone ahead and taken it out of the fridge. And as you can see, it's turned into a nice big slab. 
So all that's left now is to break it up. Like that. And there we have little pieces of chocolate. How easy was that guys? Hope you liked that. Please like and subscribe or leave any comments you have. And I'll see you next time.